Hey, what's up guys, it's Winnie Gore here. So today I'll be unboxing two months worth of, worth of loot crates because I actually missed out on unboxing this one last month. So I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll get started with this one here and then this massive one for this month's massive one. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so. So the inside of the box actually has a, uh, like some kind of map which looks very Tolkien-esque, uh, which is the Lord of the Rings style where it's got like all the little squiggly lands drawn on in the little mountains and the, the here be dragons and things like that like ye olde maps maps of old so first off we have the t-shirt this month which is like a and symbol dragon and dragon and and dragon something like that i'm not entirely sure what it's meant to symbolize but yes uh, today we have an and dragon dragon and or an and dragon not quite sure about that one you guys can decide at home which way around it's meant to be. And then next up, oh my god, this looks so fanciful. I'm gonna have to put it on right now. This is a little dicky bow tie. Boom, with little dragons on it and little dice. So it's like a, a Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my god, that's what the t-shirt is. Yeah, whoa, Dungeons and Dragons. There we go. Right, so I'll try and tear into this. What your gnashes are made for. So a dragon opens things. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think I just loop this around here. I've not really used one of these before. And then I think I just kind of clip it on. Oh, how do I get this thing on? There we go, here. Put it on here, and then there should be somewhere where I can pull it to get it tighter. But meh, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Yeah, so there's a little little dicky bow tie when I'm wearing a shirt next. I'm gonna go ahead and whack this on when I'm fancying like a little geeky night out. Oh, I got two badges in this one. It looks like I got super lucky and I managed to get two badges in the same case because they both came. Whoa, threw them on the ground there. They both came stuck together back to back, baby. Woo! So this is like a little tower on it. Oh, and then another little tower on it. Yeah, sick. Next up, we have this thing here, which is very ominous. It's a gold colored. I'd like to say it was an inflatable because it's got like, it's that type of material, it's like an inflatable style material, you guys will know what I mean. Oh it is, it's got the mouth blow thing on. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up now. Let's let's uh, fast forward this a bit. Oh, so we didn't need to fast forward that bit because it literally <laughs> blew up instantly. Yeah, so this is a golden crown. Golden crown. Oh, oh my god, this is tight. Tight, oh, tight fit. That's what she said. Boosh. So you got your little dicky bow on. Your little king's crown. King of the castle, look at me. King of the castle. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, oh, right. Oh my god. Oh, Harry Potter, mate. Harry Potter. Oh, platform nine and three quarters. Oh, isn't it, Ron Weasley? We got him with your saw. With your saw. Yeah, all of that jazz. Platform nine and three quarters. Eh. Badge or some sort of bag tag. Boom, bag tag. Yes, son. So when I'm going on the train next, everybody knows I'll be going to Hogwarts. I'll be rolling on that Hogwarts Express. Yo. Yo. This is going to go on my luggage suitcase whenever I visit Mew over in the US. Boom, you might be wondering why Sally's not doing the loot crate this month. Well, you can check out her channel over, over here. Yeah, you can check out her channel over here. She's been doing the past few loot crates while they've been getting sent over to her. And now I've claimed them for myself. As you can see, being the king of the loot crates, I've claimed them all for myself. And I'll be doing the loot crate unboxings from now on. Boom. Platform 9 and 3 quarters with a little tag on the back so you can write down your address. That's going to go on my luggage. Hopefully people won't steal my luggage because of the awesome swag tag it has on here. Game of Thrones! Everyone dies! Ah, spoilers! Uh, yeah, so this is the Stark Sigil USB flash drive. Oh my days, they've gone all out on this loot crate. Yeah, there we go. Boosh. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, it's like cut out of plastic. It is, I thought it was wood. It's the Stark Wolf. The Dire Wolf. Rah. I'll do a little close up of that. But yeah, it's a USB flash drive. I'm not sure how large it is. It might say on it. Uh, yeah, so it's probably like a, a gig or two gig flash drive. Boom! Wasn't made in Mes Westeros, it was made in China. Uh, not quite a Rest Westerosarian USB flash drive. 
but it is an official HBO licensed product, which is sick. Any of you guys watching the new season, what are you thinking about Game of Thrones, yo? Game of Thrones, that thing that happened that we can't mention because it's spoilers on the internet. Oh my god, them people that die, that person that dies or doesn't die. Wow, amazing series. You guys should start watching it from season one if you haven't watched it already. If you liked The Lord of the Rings, if you liked Harry Potter, if you liked things where people die a lot and there's not a lot of happy kind of stuff in it and it's very brutal then you'll love it if you like the game age of chivalry then you have to watch game of thrones because it's basically age of chivalry on lsd with dragons and skyrim skyrim with guns and everything like that so yeah we got ourselves a little wolf stark here uh the white one i'd like to say this so this is ghost Boosh of the usb flash drive go ahead and chuck that over here and then we got ourselves the <laughs> The Princess Sprite playing cards. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones house signal sigil magnet set. Boosh. Oh, sick. So we have Winter is Coming for the Starks. We have Hear Me Raw for the Lannisters. We have Fire and Blood for the Targaryens. And we have Ours is the Fury for Baratheon. Boosh! Let's move on to the massive loot crate now for this month's one, which is huge. I mean, like, holy heck. When they put out the ones with the comics in it, I thought they were big. And now these ones, this one, I mean, -na -na, this one looks massive. All right, then let's start with a t-shirt, which I've already seen just now. When I opened it, looks amazing. Whoa, one of my favorite franchises in the world. The Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Yo, jump cut, bam! Oh, t-shirt looks swagging, billboard swaggings. Looks proper mint, if I do say so myself. So now we'll move on to the next set, which is some kind of weird box with, oh my god, one of my favourite web series in the world. It's Rick and Morty! <clears throat> and then the guy's like, bleh. Oh, he does like a weird burp every single time. He like belches constantly and that's uh rick and marty which is an awesome awesome cartoon on the internet mm, which was even featured they did they actually did an intro for the simpsons recently which i remember watching which was absolutely awesome but if you want to check out rick and marty you can go and do that over here oh and i recommend watching it because it's actually really funny if you like things like family guy and uh shows like that and american dad that type of stuff you'll probably really like it the humor is quite dark as well uh, which is quite funny uh, not your typical thing that you'd expect. As of course, it is made by Adult Swim, who make a bunch of stuff like Robot Chicken, where the humor is always really, really dark and sarcastic, which is something I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is a... Oh, I'm not actually going to open this up because I get things everywhere. So this is a puzzle box, which has 300 pieces in it. Uh, which I'm not going to do right now, because this will take me a while. I went to see The Avengers 2 recently, it was pretty sick. And here's a Marvel Ice Cube tray for loads of different symbols from The Avengers. More Marvel stuff, this is some Marvel shoelaces. So this is actually really cool. Wow. Yeah, so I'm not going to open this up right now. But the shoelaces basically have a, like, shield pattern on it. So it's like a camouflage with mixed in little shields all over it. Which actually looks really nice. Yeah, I got myself an Avengers decal, which you can put on windows, on laptops, on cars, pretty much anywhere. I've actually just put a decal on my car for Domo here, which you can see is wearing the headband from one of the last, like previous month's loot crates, which is a Street Fighter headband. So you can hand all kind of all of your monsters away in my sleep. Hadouken! Like, they're just spot on, I swear to God. This is probably one of the best loot crates that I've actually unboxed yet. The Bravest Warriors. Boom! Anyone that likes, like, likes Adventure Time, you should check out the Bravest Warriors while you're waiting for Adventure Time episodes. Because Bravest Warriors is like mint. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this Loot Crate unboxing, you can check out the description below where there is a link to get your own Loot Crate, which will directly support me. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more Loot Crate unboxings from me. And also check out all my other videos, which you can find here. Bing! Uh, yeah, so thanks a lot to Alimu who's been doing all of the previous Loot Crate unboxings that uh, we've been, you'll, 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 yeah, you'll have been seeing us do together. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot to her and also make sure to check out her channel and check out the uh, Loot Crate site as well which you can find here and in the description. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.